The following video has compiled footage from the 2018 Grain Bin Safety Contest Awarding and Training, hosted by Nationwide and Specialty Risk Insurance. The training was instructed by Dan Neenan, Director of the National Education Center for Agricultural Safety. Specialty Risk Insurance is a proud sponsor of the Grain Bin Safety Contest and strives to help educate the agricultural community on safe work practices and procedures. In 2013, there was 70,000 disabling injuries and 593 fatalities, making agriculture by far the most dangerous industry in the United States. OSHA currently only has one law dealing with the family farm, which is any farm that contains 10 or less employees that are not a relative. 14 or 15 year olds can operate any farm equipment on their family's farm with parents' consent. There is currently no age restrictions when it comes to entering a confined space. A confined space meets all of these characteristics. One, it's large enough in its configuration to perform work. Two, there are limited means of getting in and out. Three, it's not designed for continuous occupancy. A grain bin meets all of these qualifications. There are a few basic rules to follow when entering a grain bin. First, lock out and tag out the auger power source. An individual will be submerged within 30 seconds upon entering the grain while the auger is still on. You must also remember to sample the quality of the air. At least 19.5% oxygen is necessary to enter inside the grain bin. If the number is below 19.5, wait an hour for it to ventilate. Then retest, or wait until the correct personal protection equipment is available. Also, everyone going inside of the grain bin requires a body harness and needs to be tied off. Make sure the harness is fitted high and tight. The most commonly broken rule is that entering a grain bin is a minimum of a two-person job. There always needs to be a reliable attendant watching that can attentively monitor the situation and get help if needed. It is important as an attendant not to enter the bin because it is possible for you also to be engulfed and then there would be no one left to direct the first responders. 50% of grain bin fatalities last year were of would-be rescuers. The most common hazards while working in a grain bin are as follows. Oxygen deficiency, oxygen enrichment. After checking oxygen levels, also test for combustible and toxic gases. Flammability, dust explosions. Grain dust is explosive, like any other fine powder, and with the right air-gas mixture, will explode. Temperature extremes, stay hydrated. Falling objects, and slick and wet surfaces, which includes dew in the early morning. Common ways people become submerged in the grain are getting into a bin with the auger running, falling through the crusted grain, expanded due to contact with moisture, trying to knock grain off the side of the building, causing them to fall in, and simply not paying attention. The average grain bin safety rescue in the U.S. is approximately three and a half hours. One might think the best course of action would be to try pulling the victim out of the grain, but often this will do more harm than good. The best course of action is to alert emergency personnel and make sure they know exactly where to go. Do not go in after them. It is important that safety training is provided for all accessing the bin when they first start and that safety protocols are gone over at least once a month or any time a change is made. If you ever feel that your life is in danger or your health is at risk, remove yourself from the situation and move to a safe location as soon as possible. Thank you.